Hi guys, this is the Rugby Guru and today we will have a look at the Stormers Super Rugby Squad for 2020. Starting off, the Stormers got a new coach in John Dobson. Um, it's the end of the Robbie Fleck era and in with John Dobson he was the Curry Cup coach for the Western Province in a local competition called the Curry Cup. It's basically as the Stormers coach just in local form so a lot is expected of John Dobson looking at the props from the Stormers Stephen Kitsoff they managed to secure his service for another season probably one of the best props in world rugby at the moment he's a very strong scrummager and with him in the Stormers back this is going to be a very very strong outfit when he combines with the likes of Volker Lowe and Franz Malherbe. Next is Franz Malherbe is one of those gratty uh, prop forwards. Not um, very um, spontaneous but also very strong. He's an anchor in the pack and like I say with, with the likes of Steven Kitsov and Bongi Manambi on his side they're going to have a very strong scrum. Volker Lowe is next he had a bit of a disappointing season last season, um, had an injury as well, so he needs to come back and prove himself. He's going to be in competition with Franz Malherbe for for the starting berth. I think Steven Kutsov is almost secured of a place in the starting lineup. Next is a spectacular youngster in uh, Quenza Blows. He came through from the Curry Cup season um, they say he's very strong I haven't seen him play a lot as I didn't really follow the Curry Cup that much but a lot of potential there so a good fringe player to have next up is Nietling Fouchier I also haven't seen too much of him also probably been used as a fringe player or when there's injuries um, Ali Mark has always been there in the Stormers setup, good fringe player and backup. New guy in uh, what's his name, Leon Lyons. And then also they have Sazi Sandy from the under 21s. So a good pack of props there. Hookers, Bongi Munambi had a super uh, rugby season last year. He outplayed Malcolm Marks for a starting berth in the Springbok squad. So if he can continue that form, he'll be probably again in the Springbok mix, hopefully as a starting hooker. So a lot is expected of Bongi, and he sure will deliver. Another guy is Karan Tubeni. He's been in and out with injuries, so hopefully 2020 will be the season where he really um, put up his hand and secure himself maybe a spot a uh, second in command in the Stormer squad and the Springbok squad with Malcolm Marks overseas. Next guy is Chad Solomon. He's been in the mix with the Western Province and the Stormers for quite a bit now so he's a good backup to have as well. Then we also have um, Dan Eurster, youngster coming through also Skulky Rasmus so Two promising fringe hookers for the Stormers there. If we move on to the locks, Peter the Steph the Toy has been listed as a lock, but he'll probably play more role of of uh, loose forward. But nonetheless, if he is required at lock, he's more than capable. He's the World Player of the Year, deserving so. His work ethic and his tackling is amazing. Next up, Salman Murat, the man that they rate as a, uh, a, a future captain of the Springboks. Very disciplined player. He's got a Muslim culture, so really um, disciplined. I've read an article on him the other day. They say he's one of the bright futures in South African rugby. Next is J.D. Shrikeling, also a guy that now has been with the Stormers for a couple of seasons 
He played mostly in the shadows of Ibn Etzebet. So a great opportunity for JD to really come to the front foot and secure that lock position. Chris Van Sale, he's also been Mr. Loyal for the Stormers in the last couple of seasons. Captain Western Province and a good backup to have if there's any injuries. A uh, young guy um, in Aarons van Rijn and also David Mayhazer. Uh, moving on to the loose forwards we have Captain Kulisi the man of the Stormers back. So a lot will be expected of Sia Kulisi as the Springbok captain he was struggling with injury last year, didn't play too much. Um, during the World Cup he only made his return. So hopefully he can bring a bit more to the table in Super Rugby. Next is Kobus Visa. He's a utility loose forward. He can play lock as well. Um, he's quite heavy. So a good forward to have to maybe crash up a little bit. So. Um, Visa also is still young and there are talks of him of becoming a Springbok in the near future as well. Next is Jano Augustus. He was one of the outstanding players for the Baby Box I think two or three years ago. Um, since then he's been struggling to hit form because of injury. So it's a big year for Jano Augustus. Um, I'm really a big fan of him. And I truly hope that he can deliver. Next is another guy, Jaco Kutsia. Him and Jano Augustus will probably fight for the number 8 jersey. I also rate Jaco Kutsia very highly. But in South Africa it seems like he hasn't really stepped forward. But the games that I have seen him play is pretty good. And as a Shark supporter I love it when he's not in the squad. Next is younger brother of Steph de Toy, um, Johan de Toy. He's been good um, as a youngster. He's coming through the ranks. He's doing the hard work, putting in the hours, playing, the, uh, playing on the field, doing nothing wrong at the moment really. So I'm really looking forward to see what young Johan de Toy can bring. Next is um, Ben Jason Dixon. Don't know too much about him. And then also Nama Kaba. So that is the forwards for the Stormers. Right guys, if we have a look at this, the back line of the Stormers. Herschel Yankees, what a sensation he has been. Um, he's the new kid on the block. He hasn't put a foot wrong since coming into the squad. He's uh, very fast, quick delivery. Um, it's just an excellent young player coming through the ranks and I can't wait to see him in action. Now Godlin's Miss Simla will probably be a backup to him as will young Paul DeVette. I don't know too much about him so I can't elaborate on him. The fly-offs. Damien Willems has been uh, put as a fly-off but I think they'll probably use him as fullback as well. But whether he plays fly off or full back, he's an excellent young player as well. He's had a little stint in England. And um, he'll be back to bring some valuable experience to the side. Jean Luc Duplessis, probably my favorite for the number 10 jersey. He's been struggling with injury lately. And uh, I would really like to see him uh, in action. Without his injuries, he will probably slot in at the 10. He can also play 12 if necessary. But for now, I rate him as a 10. Then they've got a youngster in Abner van Rennen. Don't know too much about him. In the midfield, we have Ruanel, an exceptional player. He's strong, fast, and uh, he's got a great mind for, for the game. Um, if he doesn't go to the sevens, he's probably going to feature in the midfield a lot. I also see him as a probable Springbok midfield combination as well later in the year. 
Then the import from Wales, Jamie Roberts. There's been a lot of talks about him. He's at the end of his career. Probably not as good as he used to be. Um, when I was younger, I really uh, liked him a lot. He was also strong. He can run the same lines as Damien Dialendi runs. So looking forward to what he brings to the table. Then the younger brother of Jean-Luc Duplessis, um, Dan Duplessis. Um, he needs to step up this season. He's been in the mix for a while now. Then Rikus Pretorius, a new guy. Don't know too much about him. Can't really rate him. Then uh, we also have Michael Hasner and Lyle Hendricks. Two youngsters coming through will probably be fringe players. The outside backs, Sergio Peterson hasn't delivered since moving from the Cheetahs to the Stormers. So he's got a really big season ahead of him. Now will be the time for him to deliver. South Africa is filled with lots of talented wingers. So he really needs to step up. He's also been injured quite a while. So a chance for him to really prove himself in Super Rugby. Sibella Sinatla, same story. He hasn't been as successful in the 15-man code than in the sevens. We all know he's really eager to to play well and play for the Springboks. It's one of his dreams. So a good opportunity for Sibella Sinatla to really step up this season and secure the, uh, the spot. Then I would assume that Dylan Lates will fill in on the fullback position. He had an excellent season last season. Unlucky not to feature more in the Springbok squad. So also an opportunity for him as being local to cement his place in the Springbok squad. Um, Leland Zass moves back to Cape Town after a stint at the Sharks. A very unsuccessful stint nonetheless. Um, he didn't feature as much as I think he probably wanted to feature. But with some excellent wings at the Sharks, it was difficult to cement a place. And whether he'll do the same in Stormers, we don't know. Then we've got a youngster in David Krill. Don't know too much about it. And then also we've got Edwil van der Merwe to complete the Stormers squad.